Hi, today we're going to talk about monopoly and product quality. And first, I must apologize for not uploading a video since last three, four days. Uh, I was not keeping well, so I'm sorry for that. And uh, other thing is that uh, uh, this ideally should not be taken up as a basic recording, but I'm still just putting it up because if you're preparing for the semester course or anything, this naturally comes in your book. So you should know about this. So anyways, monopoly and product quality. So up until now, we've talked about monopoly. We've talked about uh, the profit maximization. We've talked about, uh, uh, I mean, where the profits are going to be maximized using the first order condition and the second order conditions. Now we're going to talk about the product quality also. So let me just take you uh, through this. Suppose there's a consumer and his willingness to pay for a quality X. So X is a quality and his willingness to pay for a quality is given by some inverse demand function. So willingness to pay for a quality X is given by the inverse demand function TQX. So Q is the quantity, X is the quality, right? So, and you say del P by del Q, it should be negative. That is, if quantity is going to increase, of course, demand is going to, I mean, your, your, you have to sell this at a lower price. Right. So, but del P by del X is greater than zero. If quality is going to increase, price charge will be higher, right? Price charge it, it will be higher. So this is a normal law of demand. This guy, if uh, your, uh, your, if, if, if quality is going to increase, your price is going to be increased. Fair enough. Here, if quantity is going to increase, you can you can sell the increased quantity at a lower price. So, if the costs of producing Q and X. are given by CQX. Mm -hmm. So there are two endogenous variables for the monopoly. Monopoly can choose the quality. Monopoly can also choose the quantity. So the profit maximization is going to be like this. Price into quantity minus cost. This is your revenue, price into quantity. Price is a function of Q and X into quantity. Minus C is a function of Q and X. So for a profit max, what do you do? You find out first of all, del pi by del Q, right? So first function as it is, into derivative of second, the second function as it is into derivative of first minus del C by del Q, which I'm writing as CQ equals to zero. So this is, there are two first order conditions because there are two endogenous variables. One is Q, another is X. And then you have del pi by del X. So first function and uh, as it is, your this guy into now you have to differentiate this with respect to x, right? So first function as it is into derivative of the second function with respect to x that is zero plus second function as it is 
into derivative of the first function with respect to x, that is del p by del x minus c x equals to zero. Minus c x equals to zero. So what is what is this rule telling you? It is a usual rule. Your m r equals to m c. So this shows the usual. MR equals to MC rule for output. Right. What is this rule telling you? This is telling you how the revenue is going to increase if um, the quality is going to increase by one unit. So it is also saying that you have to equate the increase in the uh, revenue that is marginal revenue from change in the quality equals to the change in cost due to the change in quality right that is mr due to the change in quality equals to mr due to the change in cost uh, uh, sorry equals to mc due to the change in quality so it shows when Q is appropriately set, the monopoly should choose that level of quality that level of quality for which MR attainable from increasing attainable from increasing the quality of its output. by one unit this is exactly what i'm what i spoke earlier i'm just writing this out by one unit is equal to the marginal cost of making such an increase Of making such an increase, right? So, monopolist has to use MR equals to MC rule for the output decision also, and it will also have to use MR equal to MC rule for the quality decision also, right? So, this is the MR due to quality. This is the co MC due to quality. So, what Nicholson says, he says that monopolist has to use MR equals to MC rule in all dimensions, not only in the dimension due to the output, but also in the dimension due to the quality, right? The monopolist to proceed, uh, monopolist to proceed to the margin of profitability along all dimensions, whether quality, whether quantity, right? Then Nicholson goes a little step further. He says this, comparing this with competitive com conditions. Comparing this with competitive conditions, right? So, in the competitive conditions, 
you will be choosing that output level which is which is going to maximize the social welfare right which is going to maximize the social welfare so we are comparing it with the competitive conditions so the level of quality chosen under competitive conditions. Will also be the one that maximizes. Next social welfare. So next social welfare is going to be, you're going to produce till Q star, right? So Q star is that level of output, which is coming through the MC pricing, P is equal to MC. We are, we are writing about the competitive conditions first. DQX, DQ, that is your entire area under the demand curve, right? Up to your Q star minus the cost so this gives you the net uh this gives you the net social filter where q star is that level of output through the competitive process of MC price given X. Given X means given quality. So you might differentiate the social welfare with respect to X for a max in order to maximize this. So once you do that, so it will be PX. I mean, you'll be differentiating this with respect to X. This is PX as a function of PX. DQ minus cx differentiating this with respect to x differentiating this with respect to x now let me just also compare this thing So there is a difference between this expression and this expression. There's a difference between this expression right, and this expression. Uh -huh. Okay. So if you look at this expression, for example, so this is looking at the marginal valuation of one more unit of quality. Hmm. So please write, it looks at the marginal valuation. of one more unit of quality 
it's there na mr equal to mc because of the quality increase assuming q is at its profit maximizing level so and this is the marginal valuation of quality which is averaged across all units all output levels so marginal value of the quality Averaged across at all output levels. Average across at all output levels, right? So then he says a very beautiful line. Nicholson says he says. that even if the monopoly and the perfect competition if they chose the same output level then also they might chose a different quality levels they might choose the same output level supposedly if they do but they might choose a different uh, different uh, quality levels because here this is averaged out across all at all the output levels this is he is looking at the marginal valuation for one unit also because so therefore even if the monopoly and a perfectly competitive industry Choose the same output level. We might opt for different quality levels. because each is concerned with a different margin in its decision making in its decision <clears throat> but this was <clears throat> i know this is not a basic recording <clears throat> but suppose if you are preparing for the semester exam and nicholson is what your text is then they might ask you this thing so you should know this right thank you this is what i want to do in this recording thank you beta